Hey everybody, we bought the Ninja coffee bar system a couple weeks ago. Uh, we wanted to give it a couple weeks, uh, see how we like it, try out all the features, and give our review. So come join us at our coffee bar. So here is our coffee maker. It is a very elegant design. It's very modern. It goes with every home. And um, I'm going to show you some of the features on this coffee maker. To start, here's the coffee filter. Um, it's a cone shape. It's a very efficient thing. You don't really need a lot of coffee in there um, to make a nice strong brew or, you know, however you want it. Um, it's very smooth. You know, I like the design. I like how it comes out like this. And it's got a nice little feature here, the drip stop. So um, if you're in the middle of making it and you need to shut it off, or you realize there's too much going in the cup, you can just shut that off and you don't have to worry about the coffee getting all over the place. This model actually has the glass carafe. Um, it's a great system. It comes with this little piece here, um, which is actually very nice. It's, it slowly brews and it sends the coffee right down to the bottom and it makes a very even brew so you don't have like, you know, strong coffee at the top and then weak at the bottom. I really like that design. And if you don't have this, if you just want to do single cup, they have this little flip down section here. So if you want to take like a mug or something, it, it's perfect to set it up right there. It's actually a really cool feature. I love that. So the water reservoir, um, it's actually a pretty good design. I, th I like the look of it. It's very uh, nice. It has great labels. Uh, hopefully they last for a while. And it tells you exactly where you need to fill it for each, um, depending on how much coffee you want. And actually to put it back in, it's got a great grip so you can hold right onto it. And it clicks in very easy and it's very stable. So I like that feature on it. Another great feature that all coffee makers should have, especially you know in our house, we always need this. Um, the fact that you can set the clock and you, there's a delay brew, so if you want to wake up in the morning at a certain time every day, you can have your coffee ready for you. We love that feature. So another thing we love about this is, let's see, let's turn it on here. <clears throat> it's very versatile and it's got so many different settings and it's extremely accurate of what you want like if you want just like a little espresso one or an extra large cup travel you know whatever size you pick is exactly what it comes out so we do love that feature a lot of times if you just want like a nice travel mug that's perfect for it so we use that a lot and that's great to have and i like this setting too i mean just turn this little knob and you can choose exactly what you want very cool with the leds this coffee maker has a lot of great different brew modes. Um, classic we use a lot, that's just our normal one. Uh, if I'm really tired and I want a stronger brew, I use Rich, which works great. Um, I'm a big fan of iced coffee, so um, this one you press if you want it a little bit stronger. And it doesn't seem to melt the ice as bad too when I do that, so that's nice to have. Um, so you don't get like weak coffee or you know your, all your ice is melted by the time you get done. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got a specialty one if you want to make your lattes your macchiatos and stuff like that You got a really strong concentrate that you can add like froth to and there is actually a frother on this that we'll show you after This cafe forte uh, that's for specialty drinks that you can make different ones. We'll show you later in the book There's lots of different things you can choose from. It's pretty cool um, It has a clean mode, which is actually very helpful. It does a great job. We tried that out They actually recommend you do it before you um, even use the machine so that worked great and if you just want to keep your coffee warm then you get a little button for that too so one thing you need to watch out for is the steam that comes out of when you're making coffee and a lot comes out of it is it comes out of these little holes here and there so you got to be very careful when you're making coffee I mean sometimes if it's under a cabinet you want to grab it and slide it forward or if you're reaching for the frother that's behind it you want to be very careful because it will burn you pretty bad so built into the side here they have a little place for the coffee scoop and this is very simple feature but we absolutely love this thing um, it's it tells you exactly on it exactly what you need for each individual thing if you want a full carafe half carafe specialty and it even gives you individuals this is very cool and it's very handy to have it right there on the side here's this built-in frother this thing works awesome uh, it's very important you gotta have it for all your specialty drink i am going to show you how to make specialty drink it's right under uh, over ice brew right here and the specialty drink is any kind of milk based drink like for example latte or macchiato 
To make this, you're gonna need your special spoon that came with measuring spoon. And it says labels are right here. That is very, very helpful. So you don't need to go look in the book. It says it all right here. So for specialty drink, it says you need two scoop of this big one. So I'm gonna put two scoop in my coffee funnel right here. And two, see? See how it goes so nicely into the funnel and that is really, really good for coffee making. So if you're looking for to buy a coffee maker, get a funnel type if you're not getting this Ninja brand. So you wanna choose your favorite cup, put this down. I like the grip on this so your cup doesn't slide away and put it here. And then what you want to do is make sure your uh, drip stop is not closed so you want to open it and then you want to uh, choose specialty drink. It's right under your iced coffee brew so I'm going to press the specialty drink. So. There is the coffee for the small cup. And then I'm gonna make a froth. So for the frother, what you wanna do is open your frother and uh, there is a button up here that you need to press for 30 seconds. So what you wanna do is have some kind of separate um, cup. And what you wanna do is have the, this level to the right just before the milk, underneath the milk. Slowly put in, and then you wanna go fast. And there you go. All right, so it looks so good, and I wanna try it and make sure it's is really good. Now I'm going to make a iced coffee. So I'm going to set this to travel and I'm going to hit over ice brew. So I already did the uh, scoops with the appropriate amount that says on the spoons. Now this, what this system does is it sends a little bit of water down through, pre-saturates everything, and then it's, it'll sit for an optimal amount of time, and then it'll, it'll do the rest of the water down through it, and it really brings out the full flavor potential of your coffee. This is by far the best coffee maker I've ever had, and we've tried quite a few of them, and we've returned them because we weren't happy. This Ninja system is amazing. And there you go. Simple as that. Awesome, amazing tasting iced coffee. All right, so we really love our Ninja Coffee Bar. We have been having a lot of fun, and I just wanted to show you the book that came with. And you know what? The price was really good for it, too. It was $150. And you know, it's worth it. It's worth it, especially the types of drinks you can make. I bet you, you can save a lot more money uh, making your own drinks, special drinks, than going to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks and God knows how much people spend on coffees. So um, really you are definitely, uh, if you really think about it, you're definitely $150 is way less of the money that you're spending a year the amount of coffee that if you are a coffee drinker that you're spending at um, Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts or any other coffee shops so um, one of our favorite well we haven't one of the really cool drinks that I really want to try and I haven't tried it yet is this um, drink it's a cafe martini and I think this is an awesome drink for like girls night or something and Chris really likes which one you like this one this right? one looks amazing coffee cookies and cream frappe 
Wow, that looks awesome. I can't wait to try that sometime. Yeah. Well, we have been just enjoying this coffee maker, making regular coffees or making, um, uh, what is it? Um, Lattes. Yeah. And we're cappuccinos <laughs> and everything that you can make. Iced coffee. So, uh, but we do want to branch out and uh, start making really, really yummy, yummy drinks. Um, soon so yeah if you guys are looking for a professional coffee maker this thing is amazing you, i'm telling you you guys will love it uh we definitely recommend it hope you guys found this review helpful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and thank you guys very much for watching